Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve exercise problem 4-14. And in this problem, we are actually required to make a different uh, replication that is 60,000 minutes and 100,000 minutes and then compare the result with those of exercise 4-13. So let's see what is exercise 4-13. So in this exercise, you can see the part arrive at a single machine system according to an exponential inter arrival distribution with mean of 20 minutes. The first part arrive at time 0 and the arrival time and the part are processed at the machine and the processing distribution is triangular distributed with its parameter value of 11, 16 and 18. The parts are inspected for each part. There is a 0.24% or you can say 24% probability that it will need to be sent back to the same machine for the reprocess. And uh, then the next thing is there is no limit on how many times a given part might have to go through the machine for processing or reprocessing. So we need to run the simulation for standard application of length of 20,000 minutes and to observe the average maximum number of time part is processed and the average number of parts in parts in the machine queue and the average part cycle time. So let's move to the arena home screen and let's see how we can build the model. Let's just start. Okay, so on your computer screen you can see the model and uh, simply drag the create module that is used to create the arriving part and the entity typing as entity 1 it is time between arrival is value is 20 units are in minutes and then add the process module and rename it as the part processing the logic is cease delay release and add the machine and the resource name in this case is machine and the delay time is distributed with its parameter value of 11, 16, and 8 as precise in the text program. Okay, after that, add an assignment module from basic process template. And here you can see I have added the type uh, under the assign module is attribute, and the name of the attribute is visit town, and its new value is visit town plus one. So every time its visit count attribute actually increasing its value with addition of plus one value okay and then add a decide module for checking is the part is good enough or not and there is a 76 percent chance uh, for uh, the part move to the exit the system and 24 percent chance is the part is moved back to the processing workstation and after the decide module add the record the visit uh, count uh, module and in this module add its statistics uh, definition type as expression and its value is visit count and record the visit count attribute that is uh, primarily uh, defined under this assign module that is visit count and after that uh, the entities will leave the system and here is the animation and move to the done setup uh, number of application is one set its application length at 6000 minutes and base time units are in minutes and now let's run the system and here you can see part enter to the system and this is the uh, processing part processing workstation and the simulation it goes on so let's fast forward it to view the results okay so simply click this yes button to view the result and here you can see the report is generated that showing the uh, required uh, values and the user specified values as like the record visit round is 1.3 okay so as precise in the text program so we need to actually run this model with different number of replications so this is actually the uh, future version of exercise 4-13 so these are the statistics values of 4-13 and this one is for 4-14 reached. So first we need to run the simulation as 60,000 minutes and then we run the simulation with 100,000 minutes and these are the statistics value. And the general remark is the result obtained from the model performance metrics are clearly affected by the simulation run length even if no other modifications are made to the model.
However, to ensure the high level of confidence in this conclusion, it is advisable to conduct multiple application of the simulation and apply the appropriate statistical technique. Therefore, it is an important to consider the appropriate termination rule for a simulation run as well. So it's all about exercise 4-14 as well as 4-13. So if you want uh, to watch more videos like this, consider subscribing. Thank you.